Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Sanford Khan here, business author and speaker. The title of this YouTube video is Unleashing America's Potential. Defining a vision for a more prosperous future for our nation and our people. Appreciate if you get something from this video to hit the like symbol, that's the uh, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. So what is the vision? We've lost the vision of the future because we're so concentrated in the here and now, and I think a lot of that has to do with the over-reliance or the overabundance of different so-called news programs. I don't think they're really news, they're more like uh, editorial type programs. But the airways and the uh, internet is just flooded with this type of nonsense. Uh, and it just, it just forces people to focus on the here and now instead of saying, well, what's the vision for the country? So this should be the vision for the country, it's just two words. Entrepreneurial capitalism. Entrepreneurial, hopefully I pronounced that right, capitalism. That's it. That's it. Look at the future of the United States, actually any country, but the future of the United States does not belong to the big and powerful. No, it belongs to the small, to the entrepreneurs, to those men and women who want to start a business and see it grow and prosper. They are the future, not the established. And how do you promote this? The whole idea is to get the economy not growing at uh, maybe one and a half, two percent a year GDP, to have it grow more like five or six percent. And it could be done. But unfortunately, with the attitude that most people have, class warfare and class envy, the so-called get the rich, well, look, if you take opportunity, when you tax money away from the rich, you're taxing opportunity away from them. If you tax opportunity away from the rich, do you not also tax it away from yourself? You do. You can't hurt one without hurting the other. We are all interconnected. That's why if you try to hurt the rich, you hurt yourself. So how do you get the country moving? I mean, not just moving, zooming, zooming, zooming upward. There's two things that'll help the help spark this. But unfortunately, it's gonna be hard for most of you to accept it because you're so immersed, that's a good word to use, so immersed in class warfare and envy, it'd be difficult for you to do it. But I'm gonna bring it up because I want the country to really thrive and grow and prosper. I want five and six percent GDP growth <clears throat> per year. How to do it? I'll just stick with these two things. Number one, get rid of the corporate income tax. Corporations don't pay taxes. People pay taxes. You understand that? People pay taxes. When you increase the taxes on corporations, it's an expense. They're just a shell. It's an expense. It's passed on to you, to the public, to people, in higher prices of goods and services. It's also passed on to the employees by but uh, salaries and benefits not increasing that quickly. And also to the shareholders, which are most of you, over 50% of the American adults or American families own stocks either directly or indirectly through their 401ks, IRAs, and all that stuff and by dividends not increasing that quickly. <clears throat> you get rid of the corporate income tax. New businesses, instead of having to borrow money and beg for money to start an uh, enterprise, can now issue stock. And that leads to number two. Reduce the capital gains tax to 10%. 10%. No distinction between short-term and long-term. Example, let's say XYZ company, <clears throat> new business, XYZ company issues stock, uh, and the company does well. You buy it, three, four months later, it goes up 50%. You sell it, you pay 10% capital gains tax. Could you imagine the, the, the plethora? That's another nice word I like to use, the plethora. The abundance of new businesses starting and issuing stock. And when they issue stock, they sell stock. That money goes to the corporation, to the new business. The small business goes to the business, they incorporate. A tremendous incentive to do it. 
Well, they start paying salaries and salaries and all that stuff. That's taxed at ordinary income rates. You get rid of the corporate income tax. Dividends are taxed at ordinary income tax rates. There'll be tremendous pressure on existing corporations to not only put in dividends if they don't have them, but also to substantially increase their dividends. They'll be taxed at ordinary income rates. Look at you're going to have to disabuse yourself of class warfare and envy if you want the United States, any country, but the United States economy to gallop forward. That's the vision. The vision is entrepreneurial capitalism. That's how you do it. You've got to think of terms of how to get the economy moving by encouraging new entrants to the economy, by not rewarding the existing people, but by rewarding the new the new, the new Amazons, <laughs> the new Microsofts. I th think you get my drift. Anyways, I, I don't want to speak forever. Appreciate it. Like I said before, if you get something from this video, hit the like symbol, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again, and may you grow and prosper. May we all grow and prosper, okay? Take care now. See you again, folks. Take care.